Hello Valley of the Mist Quilters. This is our first attempt to do a video recording of our block of the month. So hopefully this goes well and if it does we'll do one every month. Um, I do want to explain to those of you that haven't been doing block of the month yet that this year for our block of the month um, our fabric choices are based on our focus fabric which is called Wild by Robert Kaufman. Uh, I'm sorry, Effervescence, and the color is wild. And um, uh, so you have to use some of this fabric and we tell you where to use it. And then you have to use a coordinating fabric, which can be any of the colors that come out of this fabric. So um, for instance, this green is, is the same as, or pretty close to one of the greens that are in this. And so that's how I chose that fabric. And then the other part that we use are a black and a white, and uh, they just have to not be solid black, it has to read black, and the same with the white. Um, so now, oh, by the way, I'm Adrienne Ritter. And I'm Shelly McNeely. And uh, Shelly, why don't you explain the fabric cutting that they need? This. Oh, the block, what block are we doing? We're doing a variation of Rocky Road to California. So this is a finished block. This is what it's going to look like. And um, what do we need to cut? Okay, so first thing, we'll cut two, two and a half inch squares of the focus fabric. Then we also need six, two and a half inch squares of the coordinating fabric. And two, four and a half inch squares of the focus fabric. Of the coordinating fabric. I mean the coordinating fabric. And two, five inch squares of the coordinating fabric, then four, two and a half inch squares of the black, and two, five inch squares of the white. So that's everything we need. And, and when you're working on this on your own, if you're not working along with us, remember, watch the color placement um, in the instructions and on the sample block that we've put in the instructions, because otherwise things can get kind of turned a little bit wonky, which we don't want. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is make half square triangles. And Shelly's gonna talk about a couple of different options for how you can do that. Okay, first way is put right sides together with your white and coordinating five inch block, uh, squares. And you draw a diagonal line on the light fabric. So this would be on the white fabric. And then we would sew on e a quarter inch on either side of that diagonal line. Then we would cut it up the diagonal line. Okay, another way, because sometimes the, the foot of your sewing machine makes it a little bit hard to figure out how far away is a quarter of an inch from that diagonal line. I like to draw a line a quarter of an inch away using a fabric marker that washes out or disappears in some way, whichever you prefer. And then I draw that quarter of inch line and sew on that line on either side of the diagonal. That way it makes it, on, on my machine, a little bit easier to see how far away a quarter of an inch is. Then it's the same, you cut down the diagonal and then you end up with your half square square triangles. All right, so we're gonna go sew those half square triangles and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. So Shelly has sewn um, the half square triangles and um, actually, um, I got ahead of myself and I cut them apart without showing them to you, but here they were, they were sewn together. So now she's gonna press them. And um, we're gonna press to the, away from the white to the coordinating fabric. And then um, she's gonna give them to me and I am gonna check with our four and a half inch square ruler to see whether we are oops, accurate. This one's a little big, so I'm going to trim that one. And um, actually, they probably should turn out a little bit large because that's where we haven't cut. I mean, if, you, if you're a super accurate cutter, I think to get a four and a half inch um, half square triangle, you really only need your piece of fabric to be four and seven eighths, but that's kind of a funky size to cut. And this way you don't waste 
you know, your time and effort and have the wrong size square at the end. So while I'm continuing to trim these, Shelly is going to talk about the next step. Okay, our next step is we're going to make these three, four blocks. Four patches. Four patch blocks, or sections. Okay, so this uses, two of them are the same. They use the coordinating fabric and the black, and then the one in the middle uses the focus fabric and the coordinating fabric. So to do that, of course, we put one of each together, right sides together, with either the whichever color you prefer on the top. And then we will sew those together and then come back to you and show you how to put the rest of this together. And um, just like normal when you're quilting, um, in this case, because we don't have any um, seams that are gonna match with these blocks, uh, you're just gonna press to the darker fabric, whatever it is. And in this case, it's our focus fabric and the black. Um, so we don't have to worry a lot about that. All right, so we will be back in just a moment. Okay, I thought we were just gonna have our completed four patches when we came back, but I realized that maybe we should talk a little bit about this. So Shelly has gone and sewn um, a black and a green together, all of them together, pressed them <coughs> to the black fabric. And so now you're gonna take two of, of the ones that go together. So this is the black and green, and um, I think you can see that. And because they're both pressed to the black, when you lay one on top of the, the other, um, this is where we talk about nesting. Hopefully you can kind of see that, that, that if you kind of wiggle it with your thumb, they go right up to each other. And when you sew, um, because the seams are opposite each other, and we're gonna sew right here, they, they nest against each other and you don't have a big lump and they kind of hold each other in place. And the other thing that we wanted to mention is the pressing, which um, Shelley's gonna talk about right now. Okay, so how I do it is I do it because there's, you got the, you're pressing against the dark, so you have the two opposite, and they're kind of like, you pretend like it's kind of like going in a circle. You can press the other, one of these down, going in the same way around the circle, Take the other one and press around the circle. And then you can just kind of push on it and they kind of separate and you end up with what looks like little squares in the center. And then you can just press that and it all lays flat. Now you got a four patch. All right, so we're gonna finish these other two and we will be right back. All right, we're back. And we are almost done. We're, this is the easy part, but it's the easy part to goof up. So I want, I want to make sure that you are very much looking at how these orient. If, if these turn like this, wrong. But the big thing, the other big thing is these. They don't go, they don't go in a line. The dark doesn't go in a line up here. It's the green that's going in a line or your, your coordinating fabric. And the um, other ones are going this way. So make sure you have it laid out and what, and you can pick either direction. It doesn't matter, but we're going to sew rows together, the three rows. And when we do it, after we sew them, you sew, um, you're going to press alternating. So say this row, we're going to press it all to this way. And this row will press all to this way. And then this row all to that way. Um, whichever, either way, you just have to op you have to um, bury it so that when we go to the next step, we can nest those rows together and make it very easy to sew. All right, so we'll be back as soon as we sew the rows together. All right, we're ready for the next step. Take one of the, take the bottom one. So you can see we have, we have three rows sewn together. And now you see the rows Right on there, and they nest together. I don't know how easiest way to show you that they nest. 
and then sew that together. And this one will, I might want to confuse things here. This one will nest with this one. As long as you've pressed it correctly, they won't nest together. So now you just sew these two seams, either side. So you, yeah, the two outer rows on to the middle row. And then we'll be back and we'll be ready to finish this up. All right, to you in just a moment. All right, we're back. Right. Now we're back to the very last step. So, block is sewn together. Uh, if you have a 12 and a half inch square ruler, that's the ideal way to do this. Just put it on here and make sure you have it so the diagonals go right and then you square it up to 12 and a half inch square. And we're done. So, so that's our block of the month for October 2018. Um, these blocks are not due until our November meeting. Um, hopefully we'll see all of you at the October meeting in just uh, tomorrow. And um, good luck. Good luck.